appreciate it. Well, this one is a skin painted toe. <laughs> Let me go ahead and finish up here. Don't paint my toe. I can it's, feel it. You know, it's too late. Don't this make is, it worse. This is really bad. Look, you can't even tell that you didn't go to a store. <laughs> that looks pretty good. <laughs> I'll put this in now. So I just test it, it, test it, no, test it and see, make sure it's dry already. My my toe. Yeah. Dry? I don't know. Seems dry. Joe. Did you dab it off a little bit? It's I don't gonna know. it's gonna drip. I just don't want it to drip on your shorts. Baby. Here I am working my butt off, <laughs> and you just yell at okay, me. Okay, 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 okay. So crazy. Sorry. <laughs> Point your toes. This is all glitter. I yeah. Know. Yeah, glitter. And it covers up mistakes too. <laughs> I'm not saying you did that. Oh. Uh, why is my foot a mistake? Well, your mom said you were an accident. I don't know she did it. What are you talking about? She made you all accidents. No, we weren't. That's your mom. Oh. <laughs> Do the smell thing. <laughs> Oops. That's not bad, babe. Not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> and then you got this guy. <laughs> Better not get deep, seriously. I can't even see it. Good. <laughs> Looks good. to go into labor. So here I am in my kitchen right now thinking because okay first of all I was on the treadmill for 20 minutes um, and I was doing like an incline at two miles per hour which is pretty crazy for me. <laughs> Actually it was a full incline it was at 12. Not to sound too like lazy or anything. It was hard. Point being, I was trying to induce labor. But that's what I'm trying to do. Then I went ahead and hopped on Mr. Ball for a while. And I was just like bouncing on it and stuff. Um, you know, and while I was walking, I actually did have some like pains and stuff. I really want to induce my labor. <laughs> I'm at 39 weeks. So I have a right. Okay. Anyway, um, I also been brewing, I'm brewing some red raspberry leaf tea right now, and I even did like a little Instagram post and everything about it. Anyway, <laughs> so I went to the bathroom and my mucus plug came out. <gasps> Ooh, that was so weird. Oh my gosh, it was kind of shocking. I went, oh my, oh my gosh. Yeah, called Justin right away, like, to, um, to tell him. <laughs> it was kind of funny because I... Like, First called and he didn't answer and I was like, dang it, I want to tell someone and I don't want to tell anyone but Justin. And I haven't yet actually either, but, um, <laughs> and then uh, he called me right back and he said, I told him and he was like, I knew something was, because he said, I knew for some reason that you calling me meant you, that something happened. So, yeah, because um, <laughs> we've been kind of talking about and praying about <laughs> me just being able to go into labor soon. Justin told me to call Monica, and he wants to do, like, a three-way call so that he can hear what she has to say. He's like, it'll be fun and exciting to hear what she has to say. And I'm like, not if she says it doesn't mean anything, Kendra. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. I want to I wanna call her. I want to tell her. I want to text her and tell her what happened to see what she says. But I just know she'll probably say, well, that means you're getting close, you know, or whatever. But um, she probably should know that that happened. So I'll call her, but I don't know if I'm gonna be like all excited about it, you know. Justin's like, yeah, let's hear it, Justin, you know, because he's so optimistic. But anyway, <laughs> hey, um, so we went to our midwife appointment, uh, and <laughs> she measured uh, my. I had done this this last week since I'd seen her last. During that time, um, she had sent me to go get my blood work done and to do a 24-hour urine test. So I did those things 
And so when I went over there, they, she wanted to talk to me about, ooh, about what um, the test said. So one of them, one of the results, or she was telling me basically, like, she told me about this new thing I've never heard of, but it's um, bun levels, B-U-N, which is, I can't remember, blood, urea, nooch, something. Anyway, B-U-N. My B-U-N levels are low. And and usually that is from pregnancy, malnutrition, or like low levels of protein, me, and then also an overload of fluids. So I'm I'm all three of those things. So I think automatically, yeah, I'm gonna have low BNL, BUN levels, but I never knew that that was gonna be an issue. And apparently that has a lot to do with your kidneys. It has like it's everything to do with your kidneys. And she's never she's dealt with people who had low function of the liver, but not with the kidneys. And, um, because I'm a vegetarian and all those things, um, she, she called Dr. Wong, or she, when we left, she said she was going to call him and ask him about that, because, um, and he, she said he was going to, she was going to tell him about, whew, my other, um, stats, like my blood work and my weight gain and my blood pressure levels and how they've this and that. Oh, I'm so annoyed because I've gained a lot of weight and she said that that's going to be probably concerning to them, though she doesn't think it's an issue. Uh, it's an it's like a red flag in the medical world more than um, maybe necessary. Yeah. Because they only want you to, to gain 30 pounds and I've exceeded that. Okay. Yeah. And, I, and everyone who I've met and talked to has as well. And they... You know, everyone who I know who's had a baby recently has gained more than that. And so I'm not, I don't feel abnormal. I obviously wish I wouldn't have gained more than that. But, you know. Yeah, so she's coming over and she's going to tell me about probably what Dr. Wong said. She's also going to have me do a culture test. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> it was kind of funny because this last video I did, um, I was talking about how I lost the mucus plug and. And Justin wanted to call my, um, my midwife, and I told him, he was like, oh my gosh, let's tell Monica, it's so exciting, we're going to have a baby soon. And I was like, no, I don't want to tell her, because she'll just say that it's not a big deal. Yeah, so, so that's been kind of funny, because I told him, like, it could, you know, she, well, she said 72 hours to two weeks, which I think, and she even kind of confessed, I think, that she would like me to have him this weekend, um, <laughs> it's Thursday and I lost the plug yesterday like before noon right and um, so I think I'll have him on the 18th I don't know but I probably shouldn't call it because it's like if you do that it's almost a sure thing not to happen on the day right <laughs> but anyway yeah so I'm excited um, and I just want to update on like that whole thing because I'm learning a lot about the creatinine and bun level thing ratio <laughs> um for kidney function it's kind of interesting um who knew so we'll see i'm gonna try and get some supplements to help me but i really know i need to make sure i'm like having more protein and stuff so okay so i am we're getting some dinner and then we're gonna go home and um i for some reason feel like i'm gonna have my baby tomorrow i hope so <laughs> We'll see. Um, although I was getting a little scared last night thinking about going into labor, I was kind of scared that, um, it's, you know, how much it's going to hurt. And every time a pain would come, I would kind of like, I'd be like, no, I don't know, <laughs> for some reason. So maybe I didn't want to go into labor last night, but I'm going to try and think positively and kind of, you know, accept the fact that I will be in pain and there was, there's going to be, you know, it's going to be painful, but it'll be worth it because... Um, you know, and I'm sure he's ready. He's been moving around a lot. I'm wearing a dress. This is the dress I actually decided to wear for my labor. I threw it on because I was like, man, there's nothing else to wear. I'm just out of clothes. I mean, it's just, it's just inevitable. I'm, I'm out of clothes. I have nothing left that fits me. <laughs> he's, he needs to come now. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll see what happens. So, La Monica said that um, I 
have to get more tests done tomorrow. Blood tests because it's probably just from my other labs they said that could be some other form of gestational diabetes that's not very common. And yeah, because she talked to a doctor who's um, a gynecologist, OBGYN, and she works with him um, on things that are a little bit more medical, I guess. Anyway, so I'm, in, I'm annoyed because I have to go and do more blood work and um, the only cure for this, this diabetes is to have your baby, so if I go see him, really, they're gonna just basically induce me, right, babe? I don't know, I guess. That's how I'm guessing. Um, so I'm, like, in a bad mood right now. <laughs> Not because... I'm just in a bad mood because, um, because, um, everything's gonna be the cure. Everything is going to be cured whenever I have the baby. I have so many things that are ailing me. <laughs> anyway, um, Justin's reading up more on how to handle a pregnant woman. And he's doing really good and really awesome, and I love him. I couldn't do without you, babe. Thanks, babe. I'm not in labor or anything, but... I wish. I know. I wish too. Yeah. <sighs> but, I don't know. Anyway. Very irritating. That's what's been going on. Yeah. Oh, I ate my life. Honey, what happened? I just said, is this not going to be a bad idea? I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get out of it. Look, look at you now. <laughs> If I get all the way in, you get all the way in. We're gonna have to cut it off. Oh, uh, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, you're Where's so funny. One? You're so funny, babe. All right. You're me. That's better. <laughs>